Hello ladies and gentlemen. You have dialogue that you walk up and you can spam the enter key in order to run through it. But sometimes you think, well, this is an important dialogue. The player actually needs to be able to pay attention to it. You know, one of those ones. So we need to change it so you can stop spamming the enter key to go through it. There are multiple ways to do this, but the best and easiest way is by modifying the C++. And it is super simple. It's like four lines of code or five or something really small. So what you want to do when you want to modify narrative to add your own variables to it is go and find where you want the variable to end up in. So for me, I want it on specific dialogues like here. So I can specifically come in and say, don't allow skip, don't allow skip, stuff like that. And the easiest way is to find one of the dialogues and find a variable that's in there because I want to add it into here. So if I find one of these variables, I should be able to put it in the same place and have the same effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over them and find this dialogue shot is for this dialogue node. So if I take that text, I can search the entire source code. So when you install narrative, it will be added to your engine so if you navigate to your engine folder and I've, I'm on 5.1 so I'll go into there then you can go to engine plugins marketplace and narrative and in there you'll have the source code here and now you found the source of narrative all we're going to do is I'm going to make a copy of it outside of the Unreal Engine because if you don't it will error when you try to compile it inside an Unreal Ver editor because it doesn't like it you have to do it outside so I'm going to paste mine here there we go mine's pasted so you can open this with anything you want Visual Studio is free VS Code is free I'm going to use C-Lion because that's what I like using. So you have the project open here. So the first thing we want to do is want to find that text that we were just looking for. So there you can see I can find in the file dialog sm.h line 104 if I double click it I can see right there that there is the variable to handle that shot. So I want to add my variable around about here. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom we've got alternative lines here so I'm going to add mine under that because then in Unreal it'll be under here saying skippable or something like that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much just just copy this underneath it. There we go. So I've said set the a comment just with two slashes to say is this dialogue skip? And I'm going to say you can edit it from anywhere. It's the category is details, and I can just get rid of the meta because I don't know what it does. I don't really need it. And then for the variable, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to simply set it to a bool like so. And instead of alternative lines, I'm going to call it be skippable, and I'm going to give it a default of true. So everything by default remains skippable. And then what I normally do is I take the variable that we were looking at and I try to reverse it and find wherever it's used. So I know in this instance, it's also used up here. Look, you can see it seems to be applying them all to have some defaults. So we can take our variable, be skippable, and I'm going to drag it up here, and I'm just going to give it a default here. And I'll set it to true by default, like so. And now that we've done that, we need to find it again to just make sure we've got everything we need. So I'm going to find, try to search the entire solution again for shot for our variable. And we can see right here, we've got another one right there where we're setting it here. So again, I'm just going to follow the same process I'm going to copy it and I'm going to add our B skippable and I'm going to set it to B skippable like so and what this is doing is it's creating a new dialogue line here and then it's applying all the settings from our skippable here so for this dialogue line here for its B skippable variable we're going to set it to B skip just like so and now the only other thing you can't find this method is how we want to actually prevent the skipping to take place now I already know that in narrative private dialogue.cpp in here is where we can skip the dialogue. So you can see here we have a function called skip current line. Now how I originally found this is when you press enter uh, the code has got to say something like skip this line or something like that. So what I kept doing is I just kept searching for the word skip to try and find little things and I kept looking through it over and over again and eventually I found this method skip current line. And this basically comes in does a bunch of stuff that I don't fully know what it does but all I know is that right here skip whatever the current line is playing and this bit here finishes it if it's an NPC or if it's a player. So if we prevent this, then it won't skip the line. So I'm going to break point down here a minute and I'm going to type in here a comment saying, do we need to prevent skipping? And I'm going to come in and I'm going to go if and right here we can see we're getting details about the current node. So I'm going to put current node and I'm going to say be skip. And you could put equals equals true, but in programming, it's also a practice where you can just say, say is this true? And because it's a Boolean, it's going to be true or false either way. So if it's skippable, I'm going to return it. But we need to say if it's false, like so. Because if it's not skippable, then we don't want to skip it. So you can either say equals equals false, or you can put an exclamation mark at the beginning. I believe Americans call it a bang. But yeah, and that's it. So now what we need to do is we need to compile narrative and reinstall it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save Unreal and I'm going to close it down. So as you can see, we don't have the variable. I'm going to close it down like so. And then depending what operating system you're on, this will be almost identical, but there'll be very minor ways you type the code 
which I will try to explain when we get there. So the first thing you want to do is go back to where you've installed your, your Unreal Engines. For Windows and Mac users, you don't need to do this step. This step is only for Linux, so please skip to the time on screen now. For Linux users, you need to make a backup of your engine. I haven't figured it out yet, and as soon as I do, you'll be the first to hit, but every time you try compiling a plugin on your Unreal Engine, it will corrupt it and you won't be able to use it anymore. Download and recompile it all again. So I highly advise you make a backup of it and use the backup version. It will work 100% for compiling plugins. It will just not work for running the engine. And also, you can't use Epic's pre-compiled version. For some reason, they haven't shipped all the compiling libraries with it. So you must compile it yourself. Now, now that we're all together, so I'm going to jump into the version of our engine I want to compile with. Make sure it's your current version. So if you're on Unreal 5.1, make sure you compile it with Unreal 5.1, otherwise you'll get errors. And I'm going to go into Engine, and I'm going to go into Build, and then Batch Files. And in here, you're going to see your bat, Build UAT Bat, and Build UAT SH. And then you might see some other ones. But the ones we want, depending on your operating system, for Windows, you want Build UAT.Bat, and for Linux and Mac, you want Build UAT.SH. And in here, I'm going to right click, and I'm simply going to go Open in Terminal. Like so. And now that you've opened your terminal, we need to run a special command to tell it to run either the build UAT or the SH. So I will type dot slash run UAT dot SH. If you're on Windows, just change this to dot bat. Then with a space, type build plugin with capital B, capital P, then another space, then dash plugin, capital P equals, and then put the entire location to your source code's so U plugin file. So you can see here, I'm in the source just outside of the source, and you have the U plugin file here linked to that directly and after that space and then do dash package capital P equals and then put where you would like the new version to end up again do it outside of the engine and then finally dash target platforms equals to set this to win windows linux or mac whatever you need and then tap enter and it'll start compiling it if you're one of the few linux people who had to make a backup and it's the first time you're doing this the first time will take a long time and we could be talking a few hours but once it's done it the first time it will take minutes after that so as you can see i have received an error when compiling mine i've probably made a silly mistake but let's have a look at it it's says in dialog sm.h on line 28. Let's go and have a look at that. So here, here it doesn't know what that line is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and try to find why it's erroring. Okay, so I figured it out. For some reason, and I'm not a C++ programmer, so if anybody knows, please let me know below. The variables are all defined twice. One in this public mode, and then again in this public mode here under two different classes. I've added mine to the bottom one here. I'm going to copy it. And as you scroll up, you'll see you get almost identical ones here. So I'm going to paste that in there, and I'm just going to make sure the comments are formatted the same just for consistency and then i'm going to try recompiling again you can literally just tap the up key and press enter again to make it rerun exactly how it was so as you can see mine is successfully compiled in two minutes and 15 seconds so now i'm going to go back to where it compiled to and you can see my narrative new folder is here if i go in it looks just like we've not got just like our normal source i'm going to cut it i'm going to jump back into my unreal engine engine plugins marketplace and here's my narrative so i'm going to back this narrative up and I'm going to call it dot bat and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to rename it so it's the exact same narrative but I'm going to take the bat out and I'm just going to put it here. You always want to take a backup of it because you might lose some critical things you need. Disclaimer. Narrative contains the UI that is built with narrative directly inside of it. If you make modifications to the UI and you want to retain them you need to make a backup of it and replace them. So in my case I'm going to go into narrative bat content narrative UI widgets and I'm going to copy all the widgets that are here. I'm going to paste it over the top of the widgets in the new compiled version. If you don't want to keep doing this, make a backup of these widgets in your project. Now that we've done that, we can load Unreal up. So you can now see that I have loaded Unreal back up and I'm in my dialog. And if I come and click on one of the dialog nodes here, we can see our new variable skippable is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick it and I'm going to compile just to make sure it's saving. So I'll save, close it down and I'll reopen the same dialog. I highly recommend you try this on at least one node because if it doesn't save, you don't want to put a lot of work into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to basically untick all of the ones for this top row of my quest dialog like so. So this entire top row is now not skip and all we have to do is test it and find out if it works. By default the skip key for me is enter. Some people have changed this so if I start the dialog can I help you? I don't know if you can hear it but I'm spamming enter 
and nothing is happening. We have done it successfully. I haven't assigned the dialogue for the rest of them. We can still escape out of it. Oh, and I and I can shoot her. But narrative has got something for this built in anyway. If you just hit class defaults, you can tap can be exited like so. And now if I talk to her, you can see I can't skip it and I can't exit it. If I exit it, it quits Unreal Editor. Fantastic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you modify narrative. You can add anything you want to it. For instance, you can see I have this dialogue here of can I help you? So if I get rid of it and click into it, I've added my own button here that when I click it, it tries to locate a sound based on that. Link in the description for the GitHub link for that, which works really, really well. Yes, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this helped. If it did, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.